So we are under the spell of the nature. We are under the spell of materialism. We are under the spell of... Why do you drink? Oh, because to give a company... Pierce, Pierce. To give a company to the oh, French. Oh, I'm sad. Or, I'm or whatever. Yeah. Or whatever. Who um, said that? Yeah, but most common is a uh, company. <laughs> whatever. Most common. Whatever it you is. You want to look I'm great. Happy. That's no, fine. no, we worry. But even in the company, we want to say, well, because I want to give a company to everybody. <laughs> Who said that? Where is that rule? You made your own rule. <laughs> right? Just because you don't drink, does that, does that mean that everybody is not going to drink? No, they're going to drink anyway. <laughs> so <laughs> it's all... <laughs> BS. <laughs> BS. <laughs> BS. <laughs> it's all BS. I could I couldn't come up with a better word. <laughs> Sorry about that. So ego is fake. Ego is totally fake. It makes you fabricate the big palaces out of cards. You cannot go anywhere. You cannot go and live in that mansion made out of cards. Little wind comes and the whole thing is gonna collapse. And it does collapse. If life does not take it away, death will. Yes, straight away, before you go further, the example you gave for the alcohol. Right. Don't you think uh, most people are self-gratified by, you know, telling that, oh, I'm giving company, you know. More they are gratifying themselves, you know. Of that, course. Oh, I'm so great that, you know. Because but it's fake. <laughs> it's, it's fake. fake. <laughs> it's more of a self-gratification. I think so. <laughs> So ego is all fake. Now, if you try to give up the ego, why, is, why are you finding so difficult? At the mind level, if you're going to fight the ego, it's very difficult. Yeah. So Rajneesh says that the efforts to fight something fake, where do you think it's going to lead you? <laughs> if you think it's so bad and you're going to fight, it's like darkness. If you're in total pitch dark, and you want to fight the darkness, you have nothing in your hand. You have to have it. And you're making plans in the darkness to get rid of the darkness. Where do you think it's going to lead you? You're going to get darkness. your head. All you need is a bright light. <laughs> it's a little tiny lamp to break the darkness. So you are seeking the help in the same complex web that mm. is fooling you for all these years and is keeping you in the dark mm. and you're trying to find an answer in the dark. The same society makes you gain weight and now you're looking at Jenny Craig and all those <laughs> crazy plans or whatever may be the plans, doesn't matter, X, Y, Z. The society gave you the problem, now you're looking from the society to give you the solution. Look the solution is within. That's why I sent you that link, right? The Western diet link to ADHD. Yeah. yeah. There is an attention deficit. <laughs> disorders yeah. created, psychiatric disorders created by... by Reveling all this in varieties of foods and all these things. It's the illusion that we all are living in. And under that illusion, we are creating so many problems for ourselves, not realizing. And yet, when you want to lose weight, all your focus is on losing weight. We never realize the bottom line where the problem is. The, the problem was we were clinging to the life. Our Abhinivesh, Patanjali says, Abhinivesh is the fault. We were thinking that matter will give me the pleasure. And our direction was wrong. When we stop thinking, not thinking, realizing there's something better in life, when we start bringing the, the spiritual life in our life, spiritual light in our life, we realize that that's the only real thing. Everything else is fake. Then you're going to drop no matter what. You're not going to run after those those uh, objects to acquire pleasure because you have pleasure because you have so much bliss inside you have a storehouse of bliss you have tremendous continuous source of bliss and pleasure it's flowing inside that you what would you care about anything else so to do that you have to explore the depths so the ego cannot be fought it's like there was a kid who was crying he wanted to grab the head, his own head, in the shadow. It was his, his own shadow, but every time he would try to catch, the head would run away. And he was crying because he was silly. The parents tried and tried and tried until a fakir was passing by. He says, Mahatma, please do something for the kid. So he taught the kid to put the arm on his own head 
mm. and that's how he, he made him touch <laughs> the shadow uh-huh. you cannot fight with shadow shadow is always going to be there mm. you just have to give the importance of a shadow touching your own body which is real at least in yeah. a relative term yeah body is real not the shadow so when you give when you start touching the reality the shadow will fall by itself mm. shadow will remain as a shadow you cannot fight with the shadow you cannot say that i'm going to fight it and make it disappear but it will disappear when the body becomes real so that's where our effort should be to look mm. for the reality to right. touch the reality to feel the reality to see the reality and enjoy the reality kind of see and touch you cannot see it you cannot touch it you cannot break it is nirgun niraka but you can experience it i'm just trying to yeah i think probably we better if we stop here okay because the next lecture we can finish it so oh, okay. Okay. Oh, okay. okay all right thank, thank you. you thank you all right thank you